We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and Jose Barrios gets the starting nod for the Twins. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, thanks for coming on, Jose Barrios. And this guy has all the tools to be a great one. Great velocity with life. 94 to 97 miles an hour. Power slider, and it's a big sweeper. His changeup is getting better. If this guy brings all three pitches one of these days, he has the potential to throw a no-hitter. Line toward the alley in left center. And Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d -row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He's one for two. 0-1. Oh, Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Oh, really tied him up on that one. Yeah, clearly didn't recognize where that was going to end up, Matt. If I were pitching, I might go right back in there. Now a foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he's able to hang on for the first down. Digging in now for the Yankees, Giancarlo Stanton. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. And he'll dive back in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Prior to the 0 1, here's a look to first. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 2. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Hit out towards second. There is Dozier. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So it. Here's Brian Dozier now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch on its way. Number two, Brian Takes a knee high fastball. Career numbers against Sonny Gray. He's four for 11. Two of those hits were for home runs. And he misses with it one and one. Gray, a 5'10 right hander, who was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Keep battling, young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Popped him up. Bird has room in foul territory. Makes the play one away. Batting second. Third baseman. Up next for Minnesota, Joe Maurer. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. <laughs> A 
And this one misses again to Maurer. 2 0 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Outside, 3 0 now. Miguel Sano is on deck. That one's in there, 3 and 1. Now a ball lined softly down the left field line, but foul. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Here's Miguel Sano. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Yeah, guys, the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater, and this guy is obviously sitting something else. Grounded to third. This could be two. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is... Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He's 0 for 5. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Fields it cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. At the plate, Didi Gregorius. First offering on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The 1 0 home. Hit hard towards the hole. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Last pitch was a fastball. Tries to double up with the same piece of cheese, and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hit. Here's a look over to first, and he'll get back in safely. In now, Aaron Hicks. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Kepler's there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Brandon Drury will bat next. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He's one for two. He's set and the pitch. Ball one. Gregorius leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. hit the other way out toward right field. Kepler is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Next will be the cleanup hitter Eddie Rosario. He'll Cleaning begin things Gray. here against Sonny Gray. Fielder, Eddie Rosario. And here's a slider that's nowhere close and it's 1 and 0. The 1 0 home. Swing and a little tapper that winds up foul. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. The two one home. Will not catch the zone ball three. He walked the guy back in the first and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. 3-2 pitch. Locks him up for strike three. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And, guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitching staff to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh, 
a ball and two strikes to the twin shortstop. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. The one two. Doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. Just got a piece to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Batting pitch. The next twin up, Byron Buxton, Byron. trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Two out, nobody on. Swings through the slider there, Buxton, or sometimes just Buck for short. He's in his third season as a major league player. Line to the right side. And a base hit. So the Twins are into the hit column for the first time. And that's hitting 101 right there, guys. The only way you're able to execute that type of base. type of pitch is to recognize it early stay tall stay back and trust the process Ball one. One from the stretch That's mm. two and oh when hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher a lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch even when it's not in a good location to hit Here's the 3-0. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Now it will be the Minnesota D.H. Robbie Grossman as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. A ball and no strikes. Now the 1-0 is a fastball down below the knees. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats at this one. They're not making... Hot shot to first base and a great play to end the inning. And a pair who we'll move to the third with no score. Leading off of the game. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Therefore, it is Dozier, and that's the first out. Well, Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gardner. Brett Gardner. He singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. One Set up one. away with the changeup, but it's one and one. One and one. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. The one two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Rosario is there, and he makes the catch for the second out. Riding in once again, Aaron Judge. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. 
Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. He's certainly done an amazing job right here, grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking. He would love to see three, four, five with no one on base next day. Third inning, no score to this point. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time. Jason. Castro, the catcher, is in. Career numbers Catherine. against Sonny Gray. He hits at a 364 clip. He's taken him deep once. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Popped him up. Sanchez has a play. One away. Ready for another chance. Brian Dozier 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Hey guys, that's just a nasty pitch right there. I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had about nasty sliders, and that's exactly what that was right there. Now a swing and a little flare out to left. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He has great bat-to-ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, D-Row, of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. So here's Joe Maurer, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. Rip down the line, but a foul ball, one and one. 1-1. One, one. And he bunched him up a bit as this is lined softly over first. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Ready with the 1-0. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high fiving teammates in the dugout and ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside one and one pretty lucky to get away with that one there's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws fouled away. Here he comes again, 1-2. Sent on the ground out to second. Wade takes it in. 
And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Digging in to try it again, Jorge Polanco. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ball one to start the at bat. Just missed with a breaking ball. He's not having his best outing in this one, and I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. I hop, and he barehands it. Hey, now. First delivery to him on the way. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Now look out as he's got to hit the deck here. It's ball one. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. The left-handed power bat of Greg Berg digs in now. Here comes the first pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And, and he fouls this one off. Now here's the pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. On the move is Rosario. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Lined into center field. That's a base hit. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. Way to break up the rhythm. That was almost eight in a row. This guy was starting to get his bearings about him on the mound. Had to break it up. Here's Didi Gregorius. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Sano onto the grass. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. Now batting, Byron Buxton set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The windup and the 0-1. Missed with a slider. The 1-1 home. Misses ball two. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. The count now at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fouled off. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Pass ball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. Right fielder, Max Kepler. Hit back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too there. Here's Robbie Grossman. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. 2 0 for the Twins left fielder. Grossman has had his trouble in these matchups facing right handed pitching that is and shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front the 2 2 
And the changeup is way low that time. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. There's ball four. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Jason Castro. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Kepler on second. Grossman at first. One gone. Seared down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and one. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The underhanded flip on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Leading off the inning, Aaron Hicks, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now this is popped up. Room, however, behind the plate for Castro. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. How about it? Brandon Drury will bat next. First delivery to him on the way. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. Buxton is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Up next for the Yankees. And that'll bring up Second Tyler game. Wade. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all oh, ambush here. tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in, and he's able to drive that for a nice single. Here's Brett Gardner now, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. Oh, and one count, and the pitch. Breaking ball in for a strike. No runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three. Here's Brian Dozier now. Popped out and singled in his two trips to the plate. Number two, Brian Dozier. This is line to left. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. One and oh, the count. And a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike. Dozier on it first. Nobody out. Runner goes for second. Line toward right center. But the catch is made on the line out there. Will they have a shot at doubling him off first? Ready for another shot. Third baseman, Miguel Cano. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And that's going to be all for Sonny Gray. David Robertson enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. Now Digging in once again, Eddie Rosario. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. He's hitless in six tries. He's set. Here it comes. Slice down the left side, but foul. Two runs, six hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Runner goes. Check swing grounder to the right side. And 
that the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. You know what we call that? We call that clean living. To get a knock on a check swing does not happen often. This guy obviously had some good karma coming his way. Robertson's ready. Here comes the first pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Two down, runners at first and second. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Takes a knee-high fastball. The one-two is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Here now the 2-2. Here's a high pop-up. Gregorius is there for it. And that retires the side. Twin strand of pain. Here's big Aaron Judge. And at this point. 